Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the project we're making today. Isn't it so cute? Okay, I hope you enjoy the video. We have crumb cake that measures six by eight. Two pieces of basic white for scraps. That's for stamping. I'm not gonna give these in the proper order. I'm gonna really mess up the measurement. So I'm just gonna lay them out. So six by eight, four and three eighths by one and five eighths, uh, two and a half by five and a half, one and three quarters by five and a half, and three and a half by two and a half. So the three and a half by two and a half, we have two of those, okay? And then the piece that measures four and three eighths by one and five eighths, we have two of those. So here's all of our paper. We're actually not using designer series paper tonight, but that's okay. Now let's stamp. So we are using the Hey Birthday Chick <clears throat> and we're using um, Birthday Chick dies and the chick dies and these are the four uh, pieces that we're using, okay? I just gave the measurements verbally, but I didn't post them. I will post them, <clears throat> excuse me, later this evening. We are making a, a box, a really cute box. I have never made this box before, just saying. Okay, where are my glasses? On my neck, here we go. And then we need to stamp, happy birthday. Sheila, I'm laughing at your comment. Okay, this is gonna be for die cutting. So let's do some coloring. <clears throat> We're using Pool Party, uh, Light Real Red, Light Pumpkin Pie, light mango melody and light gray granite okay where's my image so i'm going to start with the light pool party And then Mango Melody. This color is retiring, sadly. And now the Light <clears throat> Pumpkin Pie. I'm gonna go ahead and use this on the light real red. <laughs> Bella's just walking around. Oh wait, I forgot one part. <clears throat> now we're gonna take the light gray granite <clears throat> Excuse me, I like have a frog in my throat. My allergies have just been so awful this year. I think it's probably because of all the rain. I think we're done. Yep, we're done coloring. Now the classic label punch is also retiring and I'm going to cut the grating out and I'm going to warn you, I'm going to continue using this punch because it makes the perfect, uh, it cuts out the grating so perfectly. Um, and we don't have a punch that's taken its place. So I'm going to trim. So here's our grating. 
And then these two we're gonna cut out with the dies and then we're gonna cut out the fence with this one. So I'm gonna slide this over and get the um, die cut machine. We need a one, a two, a five, which is no longer available, so sorry. If I could make it available, I would, but I have to keep using it because it's just, it makes my life easier. Well, I was gonna get a piece of washi tape. We've got, well, I guess that one slid a bit because I didn't use my washi tape. Oh, well, <clears throat> it'll be okay. It'll still be cute. That one's perfect. Now, before I do anything else, I'm going to put these dies back on my sheet so that I don't lose them. <clears throat> and then we're going to cut out uh, two fences. And we need to cut out, oh, I forgot about the scraps piece. It's quicker just to rip it than to... I did have a good Easter. It was uneventful. We, we, um, we cooked a ham. What else did we cook? We cooked and we ate. That was pretty much it. Just family together. David and I are both getting our vaccination, our first one on um, this coming Friday. We're excited about that. So this time we're gonna do some embossing. So a number one plate and if we're going to be using a 3D embossing folder, which is the uh, pine wood planks. And let me tell you, you need <clears throat> a one and a four for the 3D, okay? So now we have to get the two pieces that we're going to emboss. And it's going to be these two pieces. So I'm going to place them inside here. Preferably straight, but it's not the end of the world if it's not. Uh-oh, did I say the wrong thing? I don't know. And that's not gonna be thick enough. I don't think that it, that worked. Oh, it did. It worked. Okay, so I just did a one and a clear plate. I think they're all made just a little bit differently, so. Hmm. Interesting. I like following the rules, though. The rules say on here, we're using the 3D folders, a one and a four. But maybe that's because this is an old one the old Sizzix one and not our current one. So that's probably the issue is that this is an old folder, not one that's come out since we've got our new system. Now we're gonna take the six by eight piece and we're gonna use the Simply Scored scoring tool. So this six by eight piece, we're gonna score it at one and three quarters on all four sides. So one and three quarters. Now 
there's that one. Okay, so the two and a half by five and a half piece of crumb cake cardstock is gonna get scored on the two and a half inch side at half an inch, one inch, one and a half, and two, okay? Now we're gonna turn it on the uh, landscape side and we're gonna score it at a half an inch on both sides. Okay, that's how that one looks. So we got two that's done so far. Now this piece, <laughs> it's um, one and three quarters by five and a half. We're gonna score this at half an inch on each side, on the landscape side. <clears throat> you guys are gonna get a um, inspiration sheet that will have all these measurements not tonight, but eventually. So I know it's a lot of pieces. Now we've got these two pieces. So <clears throat> we're not gonna use the um, Simply Scored Scoring Tool. We're actually gonna use the paper trimmer. Okay, let me grab, I'm grabbing a pencil. Look how cute. Oh my gosh, isn't this darling? Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a tick mark. Let me pick this back up. So you're gonna make a tick mark at three, quarter, um, three quarters, three quarters, three quarters, three quarters, only on the top. So this is the top, this is the bottom, okay? So I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna line it up to the three quarters over here on this side and I'm gonna make a tick mark, except my pencil don't, oh yeah, it does, there we go. So that's three quarters right there. And then I'm gonna turn it this direction and mark it three quarters. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing over here on this side. So three quarters. I think this is a pencil. What if it turns out it's an ink pen? <laughs> it might be, oh well. So that's how it looks. We gotta do the same thing to this one. So three quarters. three quarters I know y'all are probably saying what in the world are we making it's so cool um, now what you're gonna do is place this tick mark <clears throat> with this tick mark in the track and you're gonna cut okay and we're gonna hope and pray that that is a pencil and not an ink pen. That's how it looks. And let's check out the eraser. Huh, I did not use a pencil. That's an ink pen. Oh well, it has two sides. I normally have a pencil right here, but who knows where it went? It walked off. So here's how it looks. <laughs> there we go, okay? So fold on the score lines and burnish same thing for this one i like having these out so that people can see what we're working on 
Maybe I'll just put the greeting in a bowl. This is going to be a hard video to edit. I need to learn how to do the voiceovers, but they take so much time. It's easier just to talk. Now, so we're going to put tear and tape on these tabs. But first, before we do that, let's go ahead and take care of these two sides. And that's where these guys come in, right here. So we're going to take our uh, blending brush. Now, use a sponge if you have them, but they're retiring. So we have, we have no choice but to start going to this. Um, we've had this in the catalog since I joined. And you can see I used it earlier, but I feel like I have more control over this little thing than I do this one, but oh well. We are sponging where we are on the edges of the of the two pieces that we embossed. Whoops. Okay. Done with that. We're going to turn these over and add liquid glue. And now this one, <laughs> I almost put the glue on the wrong side. Okay, I'm gonna put tear and tape on these four sides. Yeah, we had um, three houses catch on fire on our street alone in our old neighborhood. So weird, isn't it? Um, and every time it happened, we all, every one of us was there witnessing it or watching it. It was terrible. Luckily, only one time was someone hurt. I guess that's not really lucky, but no fatalities. Don't laugh. I'm a hot mess. Um, what is this? It would be called the uh, retired paper piercer which just fits in my hand so nicely. Oops. So there's that part. Now we're gonna take this one and we're gonna place inside here, we're making, we're making a little divider. So we're gonna put liquid glue on these two half inch strips or half inch sections. I'm gonna miss a lot of the retired items too. Some of them I'm just gonna to have to keep using anyway because there's just no way to not 
like the, the, like the uh, punch I just used a couple minutes ago. Okay, so place this in the center as best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. I guess it really depends on what you're gonna put in here. I'm gonna show y'all, ruh row. <laughs> That's not in the middle, but it's not the end of the world if it's not completely in the middle. So this is how it looks so far, okay? So we have a big, big area back there and a little small area up here. Now we're gonna work on this section here. So we're gonna remove this top square on both sides. And then we're gonna remove these three. And the same thing over here. Okay. So we're gonna put liquid glue here. You can use tear and tape if you want to. And we're going to fold this up So I'm just gonna hold that there for a second. Now I'm gonna sponge this just a little bit. Yes, and I've reverted back to my regular sponge. These two panels here are gonna get added to the side. Okay, and yes, those pencil pen marks are gonna show. <laughs> I could use, here's what I'm gonna do. No, I'm not gonna do it. I was gonna say, I'll just use removable adhesive. No, I won't. I'll cover up those pencil marks with something. Not pencil, pen. I must up and used a pen. I just got those pencil pens in today though, and I was so excited to use them. Okay, there's that one. Here's how it looks. Now this is gonna be our handle. So we're making a little toolbox, okay? So we're gonna add adhesive to this and this. I'm only gonna do one at a time because it's kind of hard to do both of them at the same time. So I'm gonna put that in the center on the side. And then now I'm gonna add it to this one. Uh oh, come here. Isn't he cute? Okay, so now we're gonna decorate it. Why did I close the glue? I don't know. I need it. So we're gonna place the fence down here. I noticed today that the liquid glue is on low inventory again. I have a pretty good stash for myself, I think. Yeah, I do. And now this one.
Okay, I'm going to hold that for a second. <laughs> it's a little tool, a, a toolbox tote. Okay, she's going to get added with some dimensionals. So I'm going to put two on her. And then we're going to add the sign here. And I'm just going to put a dimensional on the back of the sign. And kind of slide that where that seam is. And then we're going to take our happy birthday and add it to the sign. No wonder I lost it. That thing is so little. So it's going to go here. So I would suggest that you add birthday first and then happy because you can kind of slide a little bit of that underneath the wing. You could add the greeting to the sign before you attach it, but I'm afraid if I did that, I would put it in the wrong place and then the, the chickens would cover it up. It don't have to be perfect. Now the little one's gonna get added next. <laughs> Doesn't that just make you smile? So now we're gonna take a piece of linen thread and tie a little bow. Oh, grr. So this is going to get added here, and then we're going to add a ribbon to the top, to the handle. So I'm going to take the polka dot tool, and you know what, I want two pieces of this because I want it to be... Um, I don't know what the word is. I don't know. I want two pieces. <laughs> Does there have to be a reason? Because it looks better. That's why. Okay. I don't think I gave myself room. Not the bestest of bows, but it's okay. It works. Look how cute that is. Oh, wait, it needs to be a little bit smaller. And move it over just a smidge. Okay, look how cute. All the different things that'll fit in there. So here's this one, the one I made earlier today. So again, it sets like that. So in this one, I have uh, a pack of Kleenex and some pens and then a kind bar. So you can see um, it's a nice size little box. And then now for this one, um, these are just examples. It will hold like three rolls of Aurafil thread and then it'll hold like, I think five um, of the minis. Now you would have to be careful about lifting it because, but put this inside of a cellophane bag. Oh my gosh, that would be so cute. Um, 
So knot thread, it will also hold a um, hand sanitizer, a tape measure. It will hold some chocolate. Get these threads out of here. So you can put a hand sanitizer in the back. It'll hold a little tape measure, if you put the tape measure in first. And then some turtle chocolates. Here's another one. Yeah, so it's a nice, it's a nice size, right? Uh, will a gift card fit in there? It will, but it'll, it'll stand up a little tall. Does that make sense? A gift card is what, two and three quarters? Okay, y'all have a great night. Thank you so much.